Hey, good top of the morning to you. Uh, I want to talk about the city of New Jerusalem that's going to come down from heaven. Chapter 21, verse 17 through 18. Again, guys, the, the cities are going to be really tall, really high. They're going to be made of a, a jasper. The city was going to be pure gold. Uh, uh, the streets are going to be made out of gold. You know, guys, today you guys, oh, let's gather up with this gold. But in, in New Jerusalem, guys, the very stuff that people gather like gold is uh, asphalt for us you know we're gonna have peace with god we're gonna have the uh, the walls 17 and 18 talks about the walls of the new jerusalem the walls of the city the foundation is going to be a stone of fire is the foundation uh, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones the first foundation was jasper the second cipher the third chal Cudney, the fourth was emerald, the fifth was sardix, the sixth was sor s sardus, the seventh was chrysolite, and the eighth was beryl, the ninth was topaz, the tenth was chrys chrysophrius, and the eleventh was jacob, and the twelfth was amethyst. I've never, I, I've never had money, so I wouldn't know what these stones are, but. That's how you pronounce them. You know, the 12 foundations of the city not only have the names of the 12 apostles, but are different precious stones. The most beautiful and costly articles known to man are precious stones. These stones express in human terms the magnificence of the city. The superlative degree of gems is used to convey that something of the glory of the city of those who now see it through glass again darkly we are going to see it one day clearly you know um this world around us is heading to hell in a handbasket the beast of revelation is going to rise the greatest the greatest for us born again christians is ahead of us then the tribulation hour is coming to the all the unbelievers so the worst the the, the worst of human history is heading towards them yes they might have a ps5 they have, might have a nintendo uh, switch they might have a job, but all that's going to change, my friends. Um, again, so once, um, so remember, we're looking at the city that's in, that comes down from God. After the seven-year tribulation, which we're heading into, and after the thousand-year reign, where we rule and reign on earth with uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, Pastor McGee talks about an explanation uh, whether the jasper, sapphire colors, uh, they all mean something. Um, so, uh, we, 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 it's going to be so beautiful, guys, when we get there. The new foundation, the foundations in New Jerusalem are constructed of a flashing brilliance of richly and costly gems. On the inside is Jesus, who, when he was there, was the light of the world. There will be light of the universe now astronauts tell us that in space the colors almost entirely are gray and black but wait until the new jerusalem is going to light up god's new heavens and new earth as they have never light been lighted before i think is going to be the most breathtaking sight that we have ever seen the new jerusalem is a planet which comes down right out of heaven everything is going to revolve around it and the light will come from there so again guys uh, truly, uh, that we will have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Truly, uh, we're going to have uh, a new heaven and a new earth. Um, truly, again, we're going to have a, a relationship with God Almighty. Uh, we're going to have uh, great, uh, you know, great things. Check this out. I do what I can for whatever I can for the Lord, guys. Um, you know, these are more for the tribulation saints. My my TV is updating, so if it turns off. But remember, guys, through the hardest times Paul and Silas were going through, uh, you know, they were praising God through the storms of life. So if you find yourself in the tribulation, you know, put on some worship music and just praise the Lord. You know, it might not change the circumstances, but it will change the way uh, you feel concerning what is coming upon the whole world you can just trust the lord guys that no matter what you're going through 
You can pray. You can worship the Lord. You could read your Bible. Um, you know, uh, the, everything is coming. This is happening for the maybe If this wasn't happening, maybe you would have been saved. Remember, guys, be a light in the world. Be a light in the presence of God. Be in a light uh, to what the Lord has for you. You know, things things are not always going to be this bad, uh, but things will get better. And you can trust that it's going to get better because God has a whole city, a mansion prepared for you. You know, uh, remember that Satan wants you to ha worship him uh, and the traditions of man and sun worship and moon worship. Be careful, you know, remember Christmas is sun worship. Easter is moon worship. Eshtar, uh, uh, the goddess of fertility. The resurrection of the unconquered son. That's what Christmas used to be. It's Nimrod's birthday, the first Antichrist. Uh, and I believe, um, uh, you know, Obama's logo is the rising sun for a reason. So again, guys, uh, the beauty of uh, following the Lord. Uh, he gives you job security. He'll work for him. Uh, he'll, b he'll build you a mansion. You know, this new Jerusalem is going to come down with, that's going to be like 8,000 miles tall. In the sky, you'll have your own place with lights. You know, I don't even know if you have to sleep or eat. I don't know, but I, I want to eat. I think heaven for me would be to eat whatever I want and, and be in the best shape of my life. I don't know. But the 12 gates are 12 pearls. Every gate has one pearl, and the streets of the city are pure gold and transparent as glass. You know, verse uh, 21 talks about the, gla the the road being made out of gold. Notice that in verse 18 it also says the city was pure gold like a clear glass. We, we, were, we were told at the beginning of the description that the city is transparent. This is the thing that gave me to lead and the key to believe that we would live on the inside and everything is transparent. This would mean that the light shines from the inside out and goes through many different colored stones, many colors which our natural eyes cannot see. We will be able to see with the new body that we shall have at that time. We are also told here that the streets are pure gold. Pastor McGee says, Personally, I do not care about the asphalt of the place, but there are two things here that impress me. It is not the streets, plural, but street, singular. This is not a city with many streets. It is a transparent, even the streets are transparent, and it is gold, but transparent gold. This leads me again to insist that we're looking at it is the inside of a globe and would have cities like we have today without having streets. That would certainly have a traffic jam with one street. The New Jerusalem has just one street which will begin at the four gates and it would start around the circle of the globe. We will all we will go all the way to the top and then circle and come back down. One would be the entrance and the other one would be the exit. There is just one street and my viewpoint leads itself to the idea that there are there is only one street. The fact is it is transparent gold means that the light can shine out. There will be nothing to hinder the light not even the streets. Again, we'll have a new relationship with God, uh, God dwelling with man. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city has no need for the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. Again, for the glory of God uh, will lighten it, and the Lamb will light it forever. God lights the new creation directly at by his presence. After the entrance of sin into the old creation, God withdrew his presence, and darkness covered the face of the deep. Genesis 1, verse 2. When God made us, us of the physical lights in the universe, he put them up like we were in the street lights or lights in our homes. However, in the new creation, sin is removed. And we again become the source of light. Today the Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world in a spiritual sense. Then spoke Jesus again, saying, unto him, saying, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. 
In the new creation, he is the direct physical and well as the spiritual light. In the tabernacle where the golden lamp stands, which are one of the finest pictures of Christ. In the New Testament, he is the golden lampstand, which is one of the finest pictures of Christ. In New Jerusalem, he is going to be the, the again, he is going to be New Jerusalem. He is going to be the golden lampstand. The nations of the world will enter the holy city as the priests enter the holy place in the tabernacle for the purposes of God. The nation of the earth, as well as Israel, will come to the New Jerusalem as the high priest of old entered the holies of holies instead of the blood being brought bought the lamb is there in person what a picture we have you know guys jesus died for us and shed his blood on the cross that we may have a relationship with god the father you know god does this because he wants us to come into a relationship with him so that he can teach us uh, again uh, uh, so we can learn through the through the trials we go through you know we all have trials guys we all go through you know why is this happening to me just trust the lord why is this happening to me just trust the lord that's what walking by faith is by the way just trust the lord no matter for all things work for good for those who love christ who are called according to his purpose don't know how it's going to work out but we know it's going to work out for good and this is how we can trust it trust the lord take it to the bank you know do do whatever that god has for you but remember, guys, in this new creation, he is the direct physical and spiritual light for us. The temple, again, which supplanted the tabernacle back in the nation of Israel, was an earthly enclosure for the Shekinah glory. It was a temp te testimony of his presence of God in the presence of sin. Where sin existed, God would be approached only by the ritual of the temple. However, in New Jerusalem, sin is no longer the reality but like a hideous nightmare, even looked out of the closet of memory, the actual presence of God with the redeemed el eliminates the necessity for a temple. Although the whole city may be brought as a temple, some have called the attention to the fact that New Jerusalem is the same shape as the holies of holies in the tabernacle and the temple where God dwelt, a perfect cube. There is no accident, by the way, in the city of light. God is present. Sin is absent. Therefore, the ed an edifice of a material substance is no longer necessary. The physical temple was a poor substitute for the presence of God. And the new Jerusalem possesses a genuine article, God in person. It is probably the first place where God will make a personal appearance before man. What a glorious prospect this is. New Jerusalem will be independent of the sun and the moon for the light and life that will be contrast to the earth, which will utterly depend upon the sun and the moon. It may be the sun or it may be the moon will even be dependent upon the celestial city for power to transmit light, since the one who is the source of light and life will dwell within the city. Neither will there be the light be furnished by the New Jerusalem Light and Power Company. The one who is light will be there. And the effigence of his glory will be manifested in the new jerusalem you know guys um the, the next thing we'll be talking about is the new heaven and the new earth that is coming guys and the nations of them which are saved shall drink walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring the glory and honor into it revelation chapter 21 verse 24 and the nations shall walk a mist and light therefore. It does not say that they will live there, but they will walk in the light of it. In other words, the new Jerusalem instead of the sun and the moon will give light onto the earth. And the kings of the earth bring their glory into it. This is my reason for saying that there will be a great deal of traffic commuting back and forth between the new Jerusalem and the earth down here. Not only will Israel come up here to worship, but the nations of the world which have entered eternity will also end up. It will not be a permanent abode, but they will come up there to worship. I believe that the church will be the priests at that time. We are told that we are the priesthood of God and the priesthood of believers. It reset. So guys, um, knowing what we have, uh, coming, you know, no matter how poor you find yourself, guys, no matter how 
uh, uneducated you feel. You know, no matter how un uneducated you feel, no matter how, like, oh, he, look at him, he looks like an ex-tweaker or, or a gangster or whatever you want to call it, say. You know, God transforms you from the inside out, guys. God works in your life. God shows you favor. God uh, uh, speaks life into your life. You know, he gives you the uh, the calling uh, 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 of the Word of God. He gives you uh, the Holy Spirit. He gives you uh, eternity. He gives you... I can't do nothing. He gives you all these things, guys. He gives you all these things because He wants you to grow. You know, He wants you to encourage the people around you guys you know there's a lot of people I, I can give you an example my girlfriend she, she she's always I'm always praying with her because she doesn't understand the Bible and I try to tell her and that you know um, but at some point we are all going to have the mind of Christ guys we're gonna have the things of the Lord we're gonna have uh, the things of God we're gonna know the things of God we're going to uh, be encouraged by the things of the Lord. You know, all these things are happening. Uh, you know, you know, the next two chapters, you know, we're going to be talking about uh, the end of civilization. And the gates of it shall not be shut all, all by day, or there will be no nights there. And the, it is nonsense to say that the gates will not be shut at night because there is no night. Uh, new heaven and new earth, guys, well, we're not going to have uh, no night. Therefore, he says that they will not be shut by day. In other words, they're going to throw away the key because there will no uh, no danger. In John's day, a walled city had gates for purposes of protection. When the gates of a city were was closed, it meant that the enemy was on the outside and that they were trying to keep him there. And they shall go and bring glory and honor of the nations into it, and there shall be no wise enter into it. Anything that defiles it, neither that work its abomination or make it a lie, but they which are written in the land's book of life. You know, guys, you must be born again to be saved. You must be writ your name be written in the land's book of life. Don't let the enemy bewitch you into believing a false gospel. Don't let the enemy have you worshiping idols. Don't have the enemy worshiping the queen of heaven. Don't let the enemy have you worshiping false gods. Don't let the enemy uh, think that you can save yourself by being good because the only way you can be saved is to be born again and to trust the Lord's uh, death, burial, and resurrection, uh, f atonement, uh, blood atonement uh, f for you. To be born again, then you have to receive the Holy Spirit. Guys, I know so many people are going to come to the Lord and so many people are going to be born again before the rapture happens, guys, that everybody's going to be a baby. <laughs> everybody's going to be a baby. <laughs> hey, everybody's going to be a baby. You're going to have to, like, you know, it's like, you're like I, I've been born again already 20 years. 20 years, more than 20 years now. And, uh, you know, and I thank the Lord for that. It was the, like, the, like the old idiom says, it was the worst and best day of my life. And the gates of it shall not be shut day or night. And the glory, and, sh and it goes, and they shall bring glory and honor to the nations into it. And, and God has apparently, again, guys, accomplished his original purpose of man and fellowship. He now has a creature who is free, moral agent, and who chooses to worship and serve him eternally. There can be no night, since the Lamb is the light, and He is eternally present. The gates are not for protection, and they are never closed. Rather, they are the badge or coat of arms of the bride. Notice that these gates are of pearl. The pearl of great price has been purchased at a great price. In the parable, Matthew chapter 13, verse 45 through 46, that the Lord gave us, He says, The pearl is not Christ whom the sinner buys. What is a sinner to pay for Christ? He hasn't anything that he can pay. It is the other way around. The merchant man who brought, brought, bought the pearl was the Lord Jesus Christ. And the pearl is the bride. It is interesting that the pearl is performed by a grain of sand that gets into the body of a little oyster or mollusk of some kind. And that little marine creature begins to put around that grain a secretion. 
that before long becomes a pearl. The pearl of great price is Marjorette, Marjorettes in the Greek. If the church has a name, it's a Margaret. The Lord Jesus Christ paid a great price to buy this pearl. This pearl was formed from his side. Someone has said, I got into the heart of Christ through a spear wound. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The church, again guys, the church will be here in full display. His grace throughout all eternity. An absolute myriad of God's greatest intelligence. That the ages to come he might show the exceedingly riches of his grace and his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus, guys. I hope uh, I hope you were encouraged today by this word. We're almost done with the Bible. We literally got less than uh, eight pages left. Uh, I hope this was an encouragement, guys. Um, guys, remember, I, I can't say it enough. Um, we're heading into the end times. Uh, we are... Uh, seeing things, the prophetic word of God is coming to pass. As I've been telling you guys, I'm, I believe a Barack Obama is the beast of revelation. Uh, now, the false prophet, I believe it could be Rick Warren. I don't think it's going to be the Pope. I think the Pope is going to be the head of the harlot church. But something the Pope says gets the Antichrist very mad. And God kills it. But it's also God puts it in the heart. I don't know. I'm not God. I don't know all things. But I know that the po this Pope is the 266th Pope. It takes 260 days from conception to birth. What's the chances of this Pope being the 266th Pope? The exact amount of days it takes for the beginning of birth pains to take shape. And we're seeing this, guys. I believe... Barack Obama, if you calculate the day he was born to the day he left office, he was 55 years old, 5 months, 16 days. The word Christ in the Bible is mentioned 5, 5 times. Remember, he's been he's been gone, but still in Washington for 7 years now. 7 years. Principalities work in 12 and 13, so I think within the next 5 years, we'll probably see the, the demise of, of the world governments, the rise of the new world, the revived Roman Empire, and then him being asked to lead the world um, because I believe that when you when you get to 12 years after he left office then maybe that's the year that he becomes the beast of revelation remember again guys he came into power uh, he's the 555 the height of the Washington is monument is, which is an obelisk is Satan the seed of Satan what the hell is the seed of Satan doing in the Washington DC in front of the the, 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 the womb now the womb the, the Senate, and the, you know, which is also 555 feet wide, by the way. These are numbers, 555. Five, five. Um, these are numbers uh, that mean something, I believe. Remember, Obama came into office with the 111th session of Congress. Obama, 555. 111th session of Congress makes it 666. HR 3200 is Obamacare that gives the government the right to put a chip in your right hand and in your forehead whatever the government decides necessary. He hasn't gone through. He, he pushed it. That was taken out. But how easily when he becomes power does that get put back in? I'm telling you guys, we're heading into the end times. Uh, the beast of revelation is rising. I hope you've been born again. I hope you see that the nation of Israel, uh, it's a trap with Palestine fighting in Gaza Strip. and all, I think it's a trap to turn the whole world against it because they killed 2,000. And who knows, Israel kills 100,000. There's 2 million people in that little spot. 2 million people and they're stuck. Why doesn't Egypt just open the door? They don't. This is, they're using this to get to bring in Russia, to bring in Iran, to bring in Lebanon, to bring in Hezbollah, to bring in uh, demonic spirits, uh, to have the world... And remember, guys, something happens to the invading army when Turkey, Iran, and Russia join forces and two-thirds of their armies are destroyed in Syria. I believe a nuclear option will be used. Uh, I believe uh, uh, the whole world is going to turn against Israel. Something happens. Uh, who knows? I don't know. I don't know what happens. I'm not, 
you know, I don't, I know the Bible pretty good, but not all of it. I make mistakes, but I'm trying to warn you. It doesn't, it, it's like, hopefully it doesn't happen like that. But if I did, if I was right, it's because God showed me and I was faithful and just to, uh, to relay the message. You know, does the Holy Spirit live inside you? Do you have, have you been born again? Are you God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus? You know, as you have you have the fruits of the Spirit. You know, do you have the fruits of the Spirit? You know? I hope so, because we all need God's God's presence in our lives, guys. We all need the Lord. We all need to have a relationship with God. We're heading into the end times. We should be hanging out together. We should have, be having more Bible study. And we should be doing more things for the things of the Lord. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get my brother Chewy to come in and, and do some uh, interviews. Because he's the one that started preaching to me when before, back in 2001, 2002 about the Lord. And I was like, ah, whatever, bro. But when the time came and I started reading the Bible, you know, I'm really thankful for his, for, for his sharing of the gospel towards me. Especially at that time. Uh, I was so lost, and I needed and I needed help, and the Lord came through right right at the right time. So again, guys, may the Lord bless you, be girded, be strengthened. The Lord is coming; He's coming quickly, and His reward is with Him. Um, be about the Father's business, because a, things are about to get worse.